Hey guys, Alex Conner with Prince of Macedon Vlogs. We're here at Tampa Busch Gardens for the Mardi Gras festivities. So we're gonna try out their, their food, uh, do their beads, and also check out their parades. Uh, should be exciting. I'll show you everything that I see today. Check it out guys, Iron Gwazi, March 11 opening. Little fun fact, Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday. It's Friday, but I will definitely get fat. I wanna check out excursions, but that's for some of the Mardi Gras merchandises. You got your standard uh, oversized hats. You got some beads, uh, but they're gonna be tossing beads later on, so I'm not gonna buy them. And then over here, we got some of the actual merchandise, which this one looks really cool because I'm a huge fan of beignets. It's one of my favorites. Um, nothing on the back, but it says, where have you been yay my, in my life? Do you get it? So, um, and then over here, it just says uh, Mardi Gras. And they got more beads that light up. Oh, and there's a cup that says, where have you been yay all my life? All right, so aside from the five item sample, which I have, you also have the 10 item and the 12 item. But for me, uh, because I don't eat that much, the five item is pretty good for me. So this is the Florida rum mermaid. It's 100 proof, so but let's, let's try this. All right, guys, I'm pretty picky about my beignets. No, I'm really not, but I got the regular powdered beignet because this is the true testament if they can make a beignet or not. So let's start with this one here. It's really hot. The powder's falling like it's Christmas. <laughs> I'm from Louisiana. We don't know what Christmas looks like. Let's see. Uh-oh. Whoa. That's what a beignet does to your shirt, guys. That is really good. It's really crunchy. It's good. It passes. Um, it's not like a tradi traditional beignet. This is more flaky. But it's still really good though. So I got this dirty rice. So I'm gonna try this dirty rice impossible. Keep in mind, um, back in Louisiana, we didn't have uh, impossible meat. So this will be this will be new to me. I got some of that impossible meat, which isn't real meat. It's still good though, but it's a little bland. Uh, back in Louisiana, it's really tasty and zesty. There's a bit more kick to it, but it's it's not bad. All right, I got the shrimp po' boy, guys. A lot of bread on that. Um, now the shrimp's actually breaded, but let's try this, guys. Huh. It's pretty good. The bread's like this thick. Nice and warm, thank you. I got some jambalaya, guys. I'm not the biggest fan of jambalaya, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's hot. That one's actually pretty good. Actually, it's actually better than the, the dirty rice they have here. Um, let me try the meat. Can't really mess up meat though. <laughs> so good. Look at this tree, y'all. It's green and purple, Mardi Gras colors. There you are. I got the five rum beer, or I got the, I don't know what it's called. Let's try it, guys. This is the non-dark version. All right, guys, I just finished up at Mardi Gras at Busch Gardens Tampa. It's my first year trying it out. And uh, it wasn't, you know, huge or anything, but it, it was adequately sized. Uh, lots of food stands for Mardi Gras. I love the beignets. The beignets were my favorite thing that I ate here. Uh, the rum was pretty good. It's a little strong, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, overall, very decent. I liked the parade that came by. Um, and then they had a scheduled event for, for throwing beads, which was pretty cool. A lot of people enjoyed uh, tossing those out and I caught quite a few myself. And uh, they also had the, the live music the brass band. So I think this is a, a nice event to get into Mardi Gras. And uh, it's pretty cool that Busch Gardens was uh, the first park in Florida to get the, uh, the Mardi Gras festivities going. So that's pretty cool too. Oh, but behind me, Iron Gwazi comes out in March. Um, I might come back if I, um, if I come back.